saved life is a good life. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. People don't know that. Yeah. If I would knew his life did, I'd have been over a long time ago. That's it. Somebody said, yeah. getting high and all that stuff. Hey, hey there's more fun than that. Right. Baby, being clean is fun. Yeah. Then you go places, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Somebody said, man, and your kids looking at you like proud of you because you're clean, because you ain't busting them with your back hand no more. Yeah. You start spending more time with them, got them in church, and they'll go home tapping their hands about church. Am I right? You see my great kids? They love to. I see them clapping their hands with that. Cool. These kids around here love to. But this is how you get out your mess. Peter said to them, repent. Let me turn. I told you I had that weed. When I went home, I put it all in the toilet. And I took that 40 on. Cold 40 ounce too. Y'all know when it's cold, it's good. And I pulled it down and talked. I said, I'm done. I repeated. I was done. That's the exact words I said. I said, I'm done. As soon as I said that, here come the devil. Folks, stop bringing me stuff to get high with. Knocking on my door. Ain't nobody knocking on my door. I had a guy that didn't never share no bed with me, but come knocking on my door. And when he knocked on my door, I didn't know no Bible. All I knew was Acts 238. And I just opened the door. Go to Acts, go to Acts 238. And I read, Peter said to repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. This is how you get your right to clean. The Lord know my heart. Yeah, he know you're going to hell. Right. <laughs> if he know your heart, he know you need to repent. Yes, sir. And be baptized, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ for what? And you shall receive the gift of the what? <coughs> there it is. That's what happened to me. I come out of that water. God sent me with that Holy Ghost. I didn't know what was wrong. But I knew I felt new. I can't explain it to you. Anybody ever been in jail? When you get out, you're still in prison so bad in your mind. But God has freed my mind. He gave me a new mind. I ain't never seen me hang around no church. You gotta be crazy. He gave me the mind to hang around the church. <laughs> Somebody see me. Uh, uh, hey, I didn't do like some of y'all. You get saved and you just walk past the church. Oh, this is a good ministry today. <laughs> like, hey, read this. Peter said to repent and be baptized. What? Where? For what? Don't you want your sins remitted? But well, here it is, sugar. Read. That's the Holy Ghost. What did I say? Jesus has it. Very, who has it? Very, very, I said to you, except a man be born of what? Not to the G name. And of the what? The Holy Ghost. Speaking the tongue and the Spirit get out of it. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This is what he died for. This is what he gave his life for. I was talking to that guy. He was saying, he said the reason why we had to be in church, he was so, he was so off the wall. The reason we in church be so we can be saved. That's, it. That's why he died, folks. He came to save sinners. That's it. You can come here and act like you can't be saved. Mm -hmm. Or act like God can't give you no instructions. Mm -hmm. 
Right. What you think you coming for? Right. This ain't no Rex Center. Yeah. This is a center to get yourself right to go to heaven. Yeah. Why go if I don't want to go? Yeah. Well, I was invited. What you, what you think God is doing? Can I tell you something? How you think all of us got here? Amen. Somebody invited us. <laughs> Yeah, Would you like to come to church? 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 Would you know? Come on. The long bro, he drug his wife in there. Yeah. <laughs> he would find one like the caveman day. Wow. Doing the back. Come on, you getting married. We're going to church. <laughs> Am I right about it? Everybody won't be saved. I don't care if they get up. They, everybody want, when you say you want to be saved, you know what you're saying? You said I want to go to heaven. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what. Let's do a survey. Who all want to go to heaven? Raise your hand now. You really want to go to heaven? <laughs> you must not want to go. This guy's sleep, he got his hand up. He, 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 look, he do it like this. <laughs> hey, you think he's sleep, don't you? He did his hand like this. <laughs> so I ain't ready yet. Are you ready to die? Who's ready to die? Raise your hand. Even the kids, not that one. <laughs> Nobody ready to die? But if you ready to die, you should be going here to the kingdom of God. Look, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. My will not that I say unto what? You must be what? You must be born again. He ain't asking you. You got to. As a human being on this earth, you must be going, you must be born again if you want to go to the place you raise your head up on. Who you ready to turn on? Who is it? And God brought some of y'all in here to help me. And you said it. you don't want to let God use you. I wasn't no good. He saved me. Still ain't no good. But he keeps me. If he can do me, he'll do you. Go here. I don't want to see nobody lost. Care what they do. Somebody say, man. Because I'm here to fight. Anybody hear me? I already know what they're going to do to me in the world. They're going to dog me. Mistreat me. Somebody say, man. It's cold out there. How, how do you say it's cold out there, Ray? <laughs> it's cold. Somebody say, man. See, this is a small town. Go to them big cities. You want to see some cold folks? Oh, yeah. I was raised in Detroit. That's a cold place. Oh, hey, Detroit, Jay. They cold hearted. They ain't like the South. Anyway, hey, Gina. They ain't nice. <laughs> South, Southern people got their Southern hospitality. Not down there. Southern kill you, Southern cut you. <laughs> and God brought me out that mess. Thank you, Lord. That's one of the coldest cities I've been in. I've been to Chicago, I've been to all places. But been to Detroit, one of the coldest places I've ever been. Because they smooth and slick. <laughs> They'll laugh at you and cut your throat. They'll rob you and do everything to you. 
Jay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know a lady, these fellas were with her for years. Cut her throat from here to here. Did you treat it? So I seen her. She was scared of me. She was scared of me. She said, you from Detroit. I said, you got it. That's the Detroit guy did it. I said, yeah, I'm from Detroit. And the woman was scared of me the whole time. She, I, I said, you ain't going to do nothing to you? I said, that's what they said. <laughs> she said, they butted up to us like friends. Then they went and slid. <laughs> Y'all, it's a great people out here. Right. When you see them, they look so normal. Quit. And I read the bleed. It's some of that weed. Yeah. Yeah. It triggers the brain. Yeah. Look how the people got middle problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spirits don't care who you is. <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. How many know somebody got a middle problem? Amen. You know it. Look, look at all these folks raising their hand. And some of you sitting here got it. <laughs> got to yourself, I got it. I'm crazy sometimes. <laughs> look at this Smith. She looks so mad, doesn't she? Middle problem. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, look at Curtis. Look, Curtis ain't got a bit of a problem. Me and my wife went home, right? We used to leave. So my mother and father was out there looking at me. She said, ain't that nice? They just waving you away. They love you. I said, oh, they looking at my license plates. They trying to get the number so they can play it. And my wife treated him. I said, no, look at my father. He got a pencil in his hand. He writing the license plates down before I leave. He going to go play that number straight. <laughs> Quit. Boy, I sure miss them. Hey, man, when you, hey, sometimes I think about it. Ain't love like a mother and a father. Ain't that right, Wilson? The other day I was thinking about it. Oh, mom. Who is Who is Feel like. Feel like she left you by yourself. <laughs> Who is it? All of a sudden, God will let her know you got to go. You going too. <laughs> we going, I'm going. But the key is, get yourself ready to go. And we all is short already. Who is it? And look, these little muscles ain't getting young either. Some of them come up with high blood pressure, diabetes, sugar. They ain't never had that. Because why? Definitely looking up on us. Letting us know, I'm going to get you after a while, because I know you're going to eat that sugar. You're going to eat that cake and ice cream, because you don't care. <laughs> Amen. I got sugar. She got. She came back with salt, and I came back with sugar. Now I came back with salt and sugar. I messed up. God let me know. I'm gonna take you out the box, <laughs> and I know sometimes you ain't gonna take care of yourself. I know you. <laughs> I'm trying. You think you're going to live forever as a young age? Uh-uh. You get older before your time. No, no. Who I look at all them fellas that I grew up with. Some of them, all of them, a lot of them did. But some of them, I see, they look like old men. You know, a guy that smoking and drinking, caught up with them. That stuff mess with your liver, mess with everything, and you do it all the time, all the time. You don't know it's eating you alive. Hear you sick and don't even know it. 
know. God let me know I'm going to kill you. He's going to kill all of us. The devil ain't going to kill you. God going to kill you. God is going to kill us all. Not the devil. Right, right. Now the devil going to cause you to get killed. But God going to kill you. Who is it? Last scripture. Go ahead and say God kill. Watch this, y'all. Read this. I'm going. See now that I, even I am he. Is there God with me? What do he do? Is he going to kill you? When you die, God going to kill you. Not the devil. Because he don't want to take the life out of you. Not the devil. He don't have that kind of power. That's what that man said, I'm going to be dead when I hit 18. He ain't none of God. How you going to tell me that? He going back my behavior because I'm acting wild right now. But you don't know who God protected. Right. I was in line. Me and Peter had got into a fight with some guy. They came back to blast us. I was in line. This guy was right here, and I was right here. Get in line and go to skate. Next day, you know, I heard a gunshot, and the man in front of me fell. And I did just like this. And took off running. Wow. He shot him in the head. Tried to shoot me. <laughs> God was protecting me then. Amen. The man lived, but he never be the same. I take him. But that bullet was for me. Because we the one jumped on the guy. We crazy taking that wild arms, bro. <laughs> See the eye and I, even I am he. There's no God with me. Ain't no other God with him. Come on with all these gods. Come on. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. The Son ain't never been no God. Matter of fact, the Son ain't never been to heaven. He was born from Mary's belly and he died on the cross. Tell me one place he went to heaven. Nowhere. He died right here. He wasn't up there with God. Right. Because flesh and blood could not inherit the kingdom of God, so he wasn't there. Amen. If he had blood, he wasn't there. So the blood had to come out so God could step in that body and raise up body. Amen. Without the blood. See, now that I am I, he, and there's no God with me, I kill. And what is he going to do? Who, who, who want to be made alive today? God is the one that makes people alive. I wound. You crippled because God crippled you. I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. Can't nobody deliver you but God. That way it's every pitch.